Pino Police Department is trying to convince voters to approve funding for a new department headquarters building. Tonight, the city hosted a public meeting to talk about the potential plans. Westerners Liv Johnson tells us why officers say the building is a necessity. Technically, this referendum has been voted on before. Back in 2016, taxpayers approved giving the city bonds to build a new building, but back then it was just over $11 million. Today, they're saying with the growth of the city and the department, they're going to need almost $47 million. It's going to be a hard sell. Richard Cook has lived in Oviedo for six years, and on Thursday, he went to his first ever city council meeting to find out why the police department is asking for an additional $35 million from the city and taxpayers to build a new police station. It's an enormous amount of money to spend. The department was already approved for more than $11 million in 2016. Taxpayers voted in favor 57% to 43%. But a space needs analysis done in 2017 projected a population of 50,000 by the year 2038 and concluded that the city would need more than 41,000 square feet to accommodate 85 sworn officers. Police Chief Dale Coleman says their current building does not have enough room to properly train officers in tactics like de-escalation. It is a very hot button topic for, for law enforcement because the goal is not to use force whenever it ain't. Well, you got to train on that. You got to teach officers. We don't have a training room that we can do that effectively in at all. He says a larger building will also benefit people by providing community rooms and safe exchange areas. An HOA is having a, a meeting or somebody needs a gathering where they need to meet Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, things of that nature. We're going to be able to offer that in a safe environment. Voters will be able to choose yes or no on the ballot this November. In Oviedo, I'm Liv Johnson, Washington News.